Tuscaloosa. This will go to Culliver at the nine-yard line. He's a dangerous return man as well. And Culliver cuts it outside. All the way out across the 35 to the 40, and a flag flies in. South Carolina's going to have great field position to work with. It's a face mask, and that'll move the ball into Alabama territory. So you have another new guy in the game. Not just one new corner, but a new nickelback as well. Garcia, his first throw. Fires down the middle. It's intercepted. Alabama coming the other way, and it's Mark Barron. He's got a convoy still on his feet. Barron down the sideline. Cuts to the middle. He might be going. Touchdown. Jones back deep. He's got a shot at it from the 25. Got 10 quick yards, about 13 on the return. McElroy with four wideouts Jones, Mays, McCoy, and Hanks. Fires over the middle. It's intercepted by South Carolina. And the Gamecocks come up with a big defensive play. A little confusion for Alabama, it looks like. I see it trying to buy himself some time, and he's going to run out of it, and there's a flag down in the South Carolina backfield. And that is the call. Garcia. Flips it out. It's going to be a loss on the play as Jason Barnes swarmed under. And Rolando McClain again. The middle line. He is so ranged. Yeah. Spencer Lanning's got a punt, so the interception did no good. Deep kick, but too deep. Hit the end zone on the fly. Touchback. McElroy and Garcia have both been intercepted here in the first quarter. To what Alabama does well, and that's Mark Ingram out across the 25 to the 26 yard line. They could have taken a knee and they would have only lost 11 yards after the interception. Here's Ingram again, first down and more. Blasts his way out to the 38 yard line, first down Alabama as we go out to Reese Davis. Reese, Phillip Rivers, an Alabama kid who went to NC State as a star, won four bowl games there, and now a big star in the NFL with the Chargers. All kinds of connections we got working here. This, this draw play is not working though. Yeah, little wildcat formation with Trent Richardson and now a late flag. Happens in every game. Ingram, first down and more. Boy, he's tough. Pick up a 15 more. And Norwood gets blocked by Preston Dial, the tight end number 85, and that springs Ingram for the big game. Here's play action. McElroy in trouble, and that one is intercepted. No, drops. Uh, boy, that would have been a touchdown. I think they called that a catch and a fumble. Upchurch checks into the backfield in the pistol formation, and they'll give it to him. A nice game inside the 35 to the 34. Right now, they've got the tight ends in there. They're going to try to blast it with Upchurch, and he's got the first down, I think. Jones down to the bottom of your screen. Upchurch again. Upchurch, nice move inside the 20. Down to the 15. First down, Alabama at the South Carolina 14-yard line, leading by seven. And it's Ingram. Down to the 10 and fighting his way inside, close to the 8. You see his numbers, almost perfect, 14 out of 16. They try a 25-yard kick to give his team a 10-0 lead, and he's got it. With 2 minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Oliver, over 2,000 career kick return yards for South Carolina. He camps under this one. At about the eight yard line. And breaking tackles out across the 40 to the 41. So the second time tonight that Culliver has given South Carolina good field position with his kick returns. He just has a knack 
to go up and have the ball stick to his hands. They got to get it in his hands, and they yep. tried to get it in his hands. That's a good and call. Couldn't. Yep. And a penalty marker as they try to get it to Jeffrey. Well, that's one of the best and biggest games at the Flats in Atlanta in a long time. Here's a flea flicker. Garcia, deep ball, man there. That's interference too. No flags. Yeah, there it, it comes. Yeah. Pressure coming off the corner. The toss is the other way to Miles. Another flag down. Chop block. Well, we've had a trip and yep. a chop block tonight. They will match up with everything and try to stop even the shortest game. Landon again to punts. High kick. Julio Jones is going to get out of the way, and this one's in the end zone, too. Now, that looks good as far as kicking it as far as you can, but it doesn't look good when it hits the end zone on the fly. Let's check in with Reese again. Neither quarterback has done anything in this first quarter so far. Here's McElroy trying to do it with his legs and out across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Who's got seven on the ground and three through the air so far in this 6 0 start for Alabama. And here he comes. Mark Ingram corner and Moore puts his head down, drives his way into South Carolina territory right on cue. On second down and eight, McElroy comes the other way to the tight end. Got it complete. Going to be short of a first down. Colin Peake. Is about two yards shy as we check in with Aaron. We'll keep you updated on Mark Ingram. He's walking right now, guys. They have him off the bench trying to stretch out that knee. Here's a pistol formation again in the handoff to Richardson. Trying to get to the outside. He got the first down and more. It'll be bruised tomorrow, but if you run it off, you'll be able to play. Whoops, high snap, loose ball. Look out. Matthews. The first guy there in South Carolina's got the football. And what Matthews did really smart is not try to pick it up and score with it. Now, South Carolina's offense, can they go in the right direction? That's the big question. Garcia, play action. In trouble. Down he goes. Big loss. Reamer, one of the returning starters from last year's 12 and 2 Alabama team. Flags. Boy, Fly boy. In. South Carolina has gone backwards just about, it feels like, every time they've gotten the ball. False start. Number 55 on the offense. The penalty is five yards from the previous spot. The it's two teams combined, we've got four yards of passing. Yeah. He, that, that's how into the offense he is. Garcia, middle screen, completes it to Miles. And Miles gets out across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Jones backpedals. He'll take it at the nine. Nice move by Jones. Well, they haven't been able to get it in his hands as a wide receiver, but he's done a nice job in there for Javier Arenas on punt returns. McElroy, we wondered how he'd respond after not playing well last week. Well, this is the best thing to do. Give it to Mark Ingram, your tailback, and let him run. And he's got another first down. They're, they're not helping their cause either. It's they're hurting themselves quite a bit. And self-destruction for the Gamecocks. Here's a short pass to Upchurch. And Upchurch, who's had a good game. Culliver brings him down, but not before he got to midfield. And another Alabama first down. Although he did make a break on a ball that was almost an interception earlier in this quarter. Here's a pass to Richardson. Richardson makes a couple of guys miss. A stiff arm and a first down after a pickup of nine. Third down and eight. McElroy scans things and throws short over the middle to up Church, who made a one-handed catch, but he's short of the first down. Well, the umpire got knocked down and, and actually was somewhat involved in that tackle. Lee Tippin will come in to attempt a field goal. He hit his first one earlier from about 25 yards out. Should be about 49 away. And it's no good. To the left. Here comes a blitz on third and ten. Garcia got it to Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey. Can he take it? Down into Alabama red zone territory at the 16-yard line. Finally, they got it to number yeah. one. If they can keep it going. Third down and seven. Pump fake on the swing pass. Middle screen. First and goal. Ball came out at the end. And I think he's going to be blown down. Mo Brown. Landing to try to finally put South Carolina on the board. 22-yard field goal attempt, and he's got it up and good. 
So they got the long pass play to Jeffrey. They got down to first and goal with Mo Brown, who's taken to the locker room. And then this one didn't work three times in a row, but the field goal did. 10-3, Alabama. So Alabama is backed up inside its own 20-yard line. 3.07 left in the half. All-time outs remaining for the tie. Here's Ingram. And Mark gets cartwheeled by Culliver again as we check in with Aaron. Lorenzo Ward played at Alabama, and Ellis Johnson coached at Alabama two different times under Gene Stallings and also Mike Dubose. So a pretty special game for those two guys. And here is Ingram into the secondary. Mark Ingram in a foot race with Culliver. All the way to the 18-yard line. Tiffin hit one and missed one. This will be a 35-yard attempt with just over a minute to go in the half. And this one is good. So Lee Tiffin from 35 yards. Bryce Sherman is back deep this time. And they're just going to line drive it. It's going to be taken by one of the up men at about the 32-yard line. And not bad field position. Out to the 41, Justice Cunningham. Missed his last five passes, and now he's forced into a third and ten. And this time they'll just run a draw play and see if they can get the first. And they got it. Kenny Miles, his best run of the night. Yep. Picked up 12 and got it into Alabama territory. Now back to the gun with 33 seconds to go. Garcia steps up. He's going to keep it. A lot of room to run. 35 to 30 and bumped out of bounds. Might have him in field goal range right now, but they'd like more if they could get it. Garcia. After a 21 yard run, he's going to try another one, and he got nine more, maybe 10, maybe more than 10. Spencer landing in to attempt the 31 yard field goal. And the kick is up and good, and that will bring the first half to a close. Boy, but a big, big field goal. Nice drive by South Carolina to get it down there and get three more. Terry Grant and Trent Richardson are back deep as we start the third quarter. It'll be Richardson at the 10 yard line. And Richardson cuts to the outside on the far side of the field. Flags are down as he got a great return. But again, a penalty marker down at about the 30 yard line. Yeah, his first pass was an out of socket experience. <laughs> Here's McElroy, who wasn't very sharp in the first half either. And that pass. Is caught. Wow. Marquis Mays. Tough catch. P.J. Fitzgerald with his first punt of the night for Alabama. Nice high kick. Gilmore will take it at the 22. Little dance. Out to maybe the 28 yard line. Lanning has been a pretty busy punter tonight for the Gamecocks. Julio Jones at the 22. Great first move. Julio Jones flags down. He's going to negate. It appears a nice return out to the 40-yard line. We've got a long way to go in this football game, and that'll have a bearing on it. You can bet. Ingram bounces off the blockers and the wow. tacklers, and still on his feet. Mark Ingram to the 42-yard line. It's as good a run as you're going to see. First down for Alabama at the 43-yard line. In the pistol formation, play action. McElroy wants a long ball, going deep for Jones. And a flag down, incomplete. Well, and it just keeps getting better. He had 140 against Kentucky, and then he had 172, like you mentioned, against Ole Miss, and 174 tonight. Pretty sharp kid, and a heck of a running back. McElroy jumps it out to him on a screen, behind his blockers. Mark Ingram, out to midfield. Pistol formation with Richardson behind McElroy in the shotgun. South Carolina with a flag down, waiting for it this time. He got past the line of scrimmage, but penalty marker down. Number 78 on the offense. That penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. We play second down. And so P.J. Fitzgerald is second punt of this quarter. Another high kick, fair catch taken. At about the 17-yard line by Gilmore. That's, that's very different for Steve Spurrier. Here's Garcia. On second and nine. It's a good throw and a completion short of the first down, but Jason Barnes has got a second, a seven-yard pickup. 
Steve Spurrier is changing the play for Garcia. Going to have to hustle. Garcia, quick throw, first down. And that's complete out to Jason Barnes. See, that was a blitz adjustment throw, expecting the blitz off the corner. Here they come. Garcia, he has time. Got it to Miles, and it's a first down. And that pass was a little bit high, but give Kenny Miles credit yep. for snaring it. The intensity of the All-American linebacker. Here's a draw play. And Miles, nice run. Almost 10 more. South Carolina going with a different offensive line combination here to start the second half than they started the game with. Garrett Anderson now the center. Miles. Out of bounds with a first down. They back out of extra pressure. Almost got to Garcia anyway. And he's got a wide open tight end. Yeah, flag down as Saunders has got it. It's going to be a hold on South Carolina. At the 11 yard line is Jones. Julio with a stiff arm. Cuts outside. Look out. Another stiff arm at the 45 yard line. Nice return. Greg McElroy's had a tough night for Alabama. Most of their yardage on the ground. This throw is caught. Flags down. Colin Peake, the tight end, has got a first down, but again, a penalty marker on the play. Second down and 11. McElroy, look out! They got it this time, and the ball's out. And that's the specialty. That's the one thing they've really worked on is when they get to the quarterback, knock the ball out. This was Clifton Gathers, number 96. Alabama shows an extra man, and now they back out of it. And now they do bring it. Garcia has time. Completes and a first down. Jason Barnes hanging in there. Offensive yeah. line did a nice job. Here he's going to try one on first down, maybe, or not. Got a block. Lofts one. Completes to the tight end. Saunders, what a catch. Somewhere along the lines, you've got to survive. You've got to win a game or two like that, where you don't play your best, but you find a way to win. Third and ten. Garcia flushed and sacked. Lorenzo Washington. Career long. For Lanning is 53 a year ago. Kick on the way. It looks perfect, but it's short. He had it right down the middle, but not deep enough. Here he comes. Bounces in the hole, spins his way through a couple of tacklers, and he's got five more. He's got more total yards than South Carolina does. Here's an end around to Mays. Marquise Mays, they're waiting for him. Jack Wilson and Nathan Pepper make the stop, no game. So I got to look on my chart and figure out what's the best thing I can call for him now on third and seven. Here's what they've come up with. Whoa. Somehow he got the ball to Mays, and I mean, he was hit as yeah. he threw. I think that ball ended up having more on it yeah. when he got hit. Gilmore back deep, high kick. Gilmore has a look and a really quick, fair catch. Called for and taken at the 13-yard line. Here, number two, Alabama. Trying to hold on and avoid an upset. Leading 13 to 6. Design Garcia yep. out to the 20. Garcia moves Kenny Miles over to flank him on the left side. Let's see if he gives it to him. He'll fake it and throw it out in the flat. Completion, it's a first down to D.L. Moore. You still keep thinking they'll sneak one to Alshon Jeffrey at some point. Garcia, Jeffrey, and a crossing pattern. Spins out to the 31-yard line. The chess match continues. Spurrier to Garcia and then McClain. Garcia, quick throw to Jeffrey, and he's got a first down. Alshon Jeffrey. Originally committed to the other USC, if you will, the University of Southern California. High school team won four state basketball titles. Coached by Zam Frederick Sr. Zam Jr. plays for South Carolina basketball. Brandon Detterick, he's had some big plays. That's a loss of about five. 
South Carolina trailing second ranked Alabama by a touchdown. Garcia pressured. They're going to get to him. They came with an extra man off the corner and it paid off. Waiting on the other end. He's been an excellent punt returner tonight in there for Arenas. Takes it at the 35. Julio 45. Ooh, he almost snuck out of there. Flags are down though. During the return, illegal block in the back. Number 17 on the receiver team. That pillar just 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Mark Ingram now in the Wildcat formation. Just going to take the direct snap and take off. And he might take off. Yeah. Wow. Why not? Why not? Your quarterback's having a tough night throwing the football. Yeah, he's in there to do the same thing, or so it seems. Unless he gives it off, he won't. So keep it. Weaving his way up the middle. Chewing up clock and yardage along the way as he got it down to the 40-yard line. Third to yard. Will he try it again? Yep. Got it again. Almost broke it. Down to the 26. We check in with Reese. You know what? You've been I, saying they're well, a good team. I watched them on film against both these teams. I said, you know what? They're not that bad. They ride the handoff to Julio Jones, and now Ingram heading to the left side, looking for a block down the sideline. Ingram all the way to first and goal. They pitch it to him here. Ingram! Touchdown! Greg McElroy, who had been efficient up to that point, up until last week. Garcia, quick toss, nice catch. Jason Barnes, Barnes pops it out. So they do get to move the sticks. That guy squashed a lot of them tonight, number 25. Garcia trying to fade it out there. And a one-handed catch by Alshon Jeffrey again. That's becoming his signature. Going to have to hurry, though. Garcia throws it across the middle of Barnes. Barnes past the umpire and skips inside the 30. Another first down, and Garcia's down. A lot of wasted seconds there. As much as 15. Garcia throwing short again across the middle. And I don't know if that's a first down or not. And now they got to go to the end zone here. Or try to get a first down to stop the clock, which will happen at the five-yard line momentarily anyway. It'll be their 75th homecoming win of all time. It'll be their 11th straight win in Tuscaloosa and their 19th regular season win in a row. In the final seconds, Garcia tips almost intercepted by Kareem Jackson. And now let the homecoming festivities begin again and they have done it through seven games now and number 22 is the hero of the night I'd make him the grand marshal if they had one more parade tonight <laughs> because he led the way he had his own float working wearing number 22 so Steve Spurrier's team falls to five and two two and two in the conference the Crimson Tide are 7-0 and 4-0 atop the SEC West.